Good morning dear friends and greetings in the name of Jesus Christ to all of you who are listening to this meditation and enjoying God's presence. Today's meditation is taken from the gospel according to St Luke chapter 15 verses 25 to 32. Chapter 15 in Luke records three three parables. and the last one is called the parable of prodigal son and this passage of scripture is a portion the last portion in that parable and so let us give this time to the lord and we are at his feet and let us enjoy his presence there are three main characters in this parable the father who is full of love and compassion and the second son whom we call prodigal son and the older son now very often or in almost always we have a tendency to project the prodigal son as the main character but in truth that is not real the prodigal son is secondary jesus told this parable as a rebuke to the pharisees and scribes symbolized by the older son now i would like you to use your imagination and picture the older son at home he was a stranger in his own house and uh, no laughter and no smile on his face and no enjoyment a loner and uh, his years of negative attitude has been bottled up and one day it burst out burst out in uh, anger and refusal and rebellion accusing his father of being partial and rejecting both the father and his own brother and why is it that we see the same attitude today in some seemingly spiritual people and yet living a miserable unhappy gloomy life at the same time though reckless and indisciplined there are people like that and yet being restored to a closer relationship with the lord now they seem to be enjoying a celebrated life what makes the difference and of course in one word attitude when well, let us follow this older brother and discover the causes of his depressive and oppressive attitude there are three things i would like to mention in this regard number one if you study this parable and uh, consider carefully the older son's behavior you will understand one thing he saw himself as a slave and not as a son Notice what he said to his father. I never disobeyed your orders. Now it is the language of a slave. It is a slave who takes orders from the master. But for a son every task of his father is something that to be delight and enjoy doing for our father 
and therefore we understand that this son was behaving more like a slave than a son it reminds me of two scripture passages the first one is uh, the gospel according to st john chapter 4 verses 32 to 34 and then again in galatians chapter 5 verse 1 <clears throat> this gospel according to st john chapter 4 talks about um about it's a statement given by the lord jesus christ after his discourse with the samaritan woman during which time the disciples went to the market to buy food and uh, when they returned they offered food to jesus and then in this passage that i have quoted jesus said my food is to do the will of him who sent me and complete the works he has given me to accomplish see as a son jesus enjoyed doing the work that god the father has given him to do it is a delight and it was so much a delight for him it is like having his nourishment in the original language that is the word used nourishment my nourishment is by doing god's will because he is my father and this must be the attitude of our relationship with the father not as a slave now paul in galatians chapter 5 verse 1 says it is for freedom Christ has set you free. Do not go back to slavery again. From slavery Jesus Christ has set us free and now his father is our father and he is our savior. So it is that freedom that we must enjoy. And it is this that this older brother was missing somehow. he was not able to connect himself with the other members the father and the brother and he missed out in life in other words it is no longer obligation to do father's will but love must be the motivation of doing it and when love gets involved then the the labor or the work will not will never be a burden it will be a joy for us to do and the second thing we notice about this older brother is he never enjoyed relationship notice again what he said to his father when the brother came back and he came to know it he, he refused to get inside of the house come on and the father came out i notice what he said this your son you notice he never said is my brother your son as if he has no relationship with him at all and this is the way he he treated his father also we will understand it he couldn't see his father as a as a, a loving embracing affectionate father who smiles on his children he simply couldn't see that about his father it was there in the father but he was blind to see because he is not enjoying the wonderful relationship that's the problem he refused to call his brother his brother this your son as if he has nothing to do with it and he doesn't want to how sad it is you know even cain you know he though he was he gave himself to sin and um, he murdered his brother and when god came and asked him where is your brother notice how he replied am i my brother's keeper So even Cain did not refuse to acknowledge that Abel was his brother. He called him his brother. And um, 
how about you my brothers and sisters who are listening to me this morning do you enjoy the warmth and uh, and the sweetness of a relationship it is one of the greatest gift that god has permitted us to enjoy in this life relationship and when you give yourself to relationship there are so many around us first of all we have our family parents and there the relationship husband and wife parents and children and brothers and sisters and everyone in the family we are related and that wonderful sweet relationship at the end of the day during the day we may be all over the places but at the end of the day because of that relationship we come back our home where we sit with our father parents and brothers and sisters and everyone else in the house what sweet home what fellowship and then we have our friends and our neighbors for relationship and our colleagues and i encourage all of you to enter into good loving relationship with people of like mind it is a precious gift to my brother my sister that relationship and uh, how do you see god do you see god as a task master angry and uh, ready to punish and that's the way many people view god and i hope that we will change you know in Ro- read romans chapter 8 verses 15 and 17 and uh, we have these words there romans chapter 8 verse 15 say because those who are led by the spirit of god what are they they are sons of god we are sons of god and for you did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear but you receive the spirit of a sonship and by that relationship we call god our abba father and i pray that the holy spirit will open your eyes to see the wonderful sweet relationship and through that relationship everybody is benefited when i get into a relationship with you you are benefited i am benefited and you are a blessing and i am a blessing to you and i support and you support when i am weak you are there when you are weak i am there and so my friends relationship is like a medicine and enjoy it now let me ask you this what do you tell your friend who comes to visiting your home usually we all say uh, he 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 we want to we we tell him what, uh, what he uh, he sees he say so we say this is my house and then suddenly his mother comes out and he say this is my mom and um, we don't say introducing our mother to somebody this is the wife of the man who owns this house do we say that and then sister comes out what do you say this is my sister you don't say this is the daughter of my father you don't say that relationship so beautiful and so wonderful and john's gospel chapter 15 verse 15 says again jesus is talking to his disciples i no longer talk to you as servant i no longer call you sir, a servant because a servant does not know 
what his master's will is but i call you friends because that friendship is so valuable that we tell everything to our friends and when we have a very close friends even things we don't talk or tell our own people we confide it to our best friend and so there are two things about this this uh, this relationship that we have with our heavenly father it is a relationship of a friendship that's what we read in the gospel according to john john and then it is also a relationship of a sonship in romans chapter 8 verse 14 I want you to read these passages. Galatians chapter 4 verses 5 to 7 and Ephesians chapter 1 verse 5. Please read these references after this meditation. Romans chapter 8 verse 14, Galatians chapter 4 verse 5 to 7, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 5. Now these two fold relationship gives us two fold privileges. Number one, through the through the relationship of friendship, we know all about our father's business. Our heavenly father's business. As Jesus knew his father's business and he was always in his father's business. And secondly, because it is also a relationship of sonship the second privilege is he makes us heir of all he has and my brothers and sisters you who have been listening to this meditation this morning i want you to begin this day with this great understanding that causes you to rejoice I know my father's business because the relationship is a friendship relationship. And I know that I am also a heir of all things that God the Father has. And I I I am simply not able to describe to you how rich and whatever God the Father possesses. And you know that is what uh, apostle paul says when he said thanks be to god who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places god has not withheld anything from us so it is all yours get into this relationship enjoy the relationship don't neglect don't consider relationship as useless they become useful when you have the right attitude and with that attitude get into a relationship enjoy the family relationship above all and the best family is what the family of god the church what an opportunity for us to get into that relationship our brothers and sisters in the lord and you know that relationship is a very lasting relationship it doesn't end with this life it is for eternity may the lord bless you and uh, enable you to enjoy what the father has. we will continue this study the last por- portion i will meditate it tomorrow with you meanwhile today is a wonderful day enjoy have a good day Father I pronounce the blessings of your presence and your peace and your joy to everyone who will listen to this meditation that through the enjoyment of relationship and through the enjoyment of that freedom we are not slaves but we are children help us to enjoy our relationship with you and with one another thank you in jesus name amen